In this talk, we present the paper Pratt's lab, Tense lab meets automatic differentiation. This is joint work with Ganesh Ayer from the Robotics Institute at Carnegie Mellon University and with Liam Paul at Mila and University de Montreal. SLAM, or simultaneous localization and mapping, is a key enabler for robots to operate in previously unseen environments. In this paper, we focus on dense maps constructed from RGBD cameras. SLAM poses several interesting challenges for modern day deep learning systems. It is a sequential process that violates the IID assumptions prevalent in most gradient based learning methods. Modern SLAM systems are heavily engineered to work for a specific robot environment combination. Further, the fundamental question of what in the SLAM system pipeline needs to be learned opens up several design choices. In this work, we take a new approach to SLAM from the perspective of differentiability. Typically, RGBD SLAM systems takes uh, as input a sequence of color and depth images and estimate the camera trajectory and a map of the environment. SLAM is hence a mapping from sensor data denoted by S to a state estimate denoted by M. If this mapping were differentiable, then we know that perturbing the sensor data S by a tiny delta S changes the reconstruction M by the gradient of the SLAM function with respect to S. To do so, we take inspiration from computational graphs, a paradigm where if a computation can be expressed as a composition of elementary differentiable operations, we can calculate gradients with respect to all intermediate variables involved. Processes such as rendering and graphics and simulation and physics are being made differentiable in this paradigm to embed stronger domain-specific information into learning algorithms. However, the case for SLAM is not straightforward. First, we take a look at a traditional dense SLAM system from an input RGBD image. Surface measurements are extracted in the form of vertex normal maps. The underlying geometry is then mapped in a local frame using sign distance functions. This is then aligned with a global map by recasting an ICP. The aligned maps are fused to update the global map and this process is repeated for every incoming frame. Notice how several steps in this pipeline, as shown in red boxes, are non-differentiable. With the goal of developing a fully differentiable SLAM system, we present GradSLAM. GradSLAM is a framework that comprises several fully differentiable SLAM components. In particular, it contains a differentiable visual odometry pipeline, a new differentiable nonlinear least square solver, and differentiable mapping and wave casting modules. We now go into detail into each of these modules. Typical SLAM systems use trust region methods such as Levenberg Mark Watt, which switch between gradient descent and Gauss Newton like behaviors. Such switching results in abrupt jumps in function values, and hence the gradient is zero almost everywhere. We propose a new differentiable trust region optimizer, GradLM, that reparameterizes the damping coefficient and results in smoother gradients. For processes like ray casting, we make discrete approximations of gradients of rays, just like the image gradient operators. We make the entire dense mapping process differentiable by using soft associations and kernels. Now, let's look at some of the results where all the above components are grouped together to realize an end-to-end -end differentiable SLAM system. We take three classical SLAM systems each of which operate on a different kind of map representation and implement differentiable versions of these algorithms in the Grad SLAM framework. The map reconstructions shown here are from the ICL NUIM dataset. These differentiable SLAM systems run fully on the GPU and are capable of computing gradients with respect to any intermediate or input variable. Furthermore, this differentiability comes almost for free with a negligible impact on accuracy. We also evaluated the GradSLAM framework on real sequences from the TUM RGBD benchmark, where it fares comparably to the non-differentiable counterparts. This snippet shows the execution of our differentiable point fusion algorithm on a real sequence captured by an Intel RealSense camera. We now demonstrate a few applications of the GradSLAM framework. 
Consider an RGBD image passed through the differentiable Kinect Fusion pipeline to output a noisy reconstruction. We can then compare this reconstruction with the ground truth map and backpropagate the gradients all the way through to the input image and depth pixels. In the second case, we add an occluding object in front of the camera and reconstruct that frame using Dredslam. Again, this is compared with the ground truth map and the gradients are backpropagated all the way to the image. Notice that the additional uploader has resulted in a greater gradient magnitude at the pixels that contain the uploader. Here is a video feed in which the uploader was randomly spawned in space and note how Gradslam is accurately able to propagate 3D gradients back to image pixels. We now show an RGBD denoising experiment. We take an RGBD video sequence and perturb the first frame by adding uniform noise to every RGB and depth pixel. We then reconstruct a map using a differentiable point fusion pipeline and compare it with a reconstruction obtained from clean images. This error is backpropagated through the unrolled SLAM computational graph to no a noisy RGBD frame. This allows us to do gradient descent to recover the original color and depth pairs. A few interesting optimization cases are shown on the right where we are able to recover missing depth values for pixels that do not have valid depth measurements. One powerful capability of Gradslam is its ability to delineate the contribution of each pixel in the image to the reconstructed 3D map. Here we show a sensitivity map of the depth pixels. The intensity plot on the right displays the contribution of each pixel in the image to the eventual reconstruction. As expected, pixels with missing depths do not contribute to the reconstruction, and pixels with high curvature or gradient information contribute more. This is an interactive visualization where we can click on arbitrary points on the reconstructed map and initiate a backdrop through the sequence of input frames. We intend to make our code available in the form of a modular differentiable SLAM library. The above code snippet shows the structure of the package and how easy it is to run GradSlam on sequences from popular data sets such as ScanNet. Thank you for watching this video. Please visit our project page montrealrobotics.ca slash GradSlam.